Hi everyone, in this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the method for creating a dream sequence using a vignette together with the YSFX function inside Resolve. So in this particular shot, I want to create sort of a dreamlike effect. And this is something that we use uh, together with a power window and what is known as the YSFX feature in DaVinci Resolve. YSFX has been used in DaVinci color grading systems since the early days with the hardware-based color correction systems. And so what we're going to do first is we come back to our primary grading and just grade that little up a bit, come over here, something like that there. Maybe add a little bit of saturation to the picture. There we have it. That's good. Okay, so now what I want to do in this shot is actually uh, make it, like I said, like a dreamlike effect. And now what we're going to do here is we put a, a second node and we add a circular power window. Now we don't want to affect what's inside the window, we want to affect what's on the outside. So as you can see, you have two buttons here. One is matte or mask, and the other one is the um, inverse. So what I want to do is click the first one, which is the invert button. So as you can see here, we're affecting outside of the window area. And then what I'm going to do next is um, come up to my curves display. Now, as you can see on curves, we've got a little sliding uh, control here. That's my YS effects. So as you can see, when I take this here and turn it down, it will invert chrominance and luminance. And so what I can do is if I invert that, the whole picture is inverted but what I really love about this is you can see the soft area of the window you get this very sort of silverized effect so what I want to do is I'm come back to my power window soften that even more like so just really soften it a lot and then just bring it in like that And there, as you can see, we have a nice dreamlike effect. Now, if I wanted to go one step further and then also just defocus the highlights and soften those a little bit, what I could do then is I could come up to my first node here and create a parallel node at that point. And then in this one, I can then pick up all the light areas of the picture like so. So what I want to do is come back to my qualifier, come back to here, pick this up like so, come to here, and as you can see, I've picked up just the light areas of the picture, and then I can then come over here, just want to get just those areas like so. And then what we can do next is just adjust that a bit like that. Okay, so now what I want to do in this situation, I want to blur the radius and then I want to denoise that mat quite a bit like so. Okay, so now it's made the mat area a little bit larger and in this case we want that because this way it allows us then to bring that up and then it gives more of a halo effect around the picture. Now what I want to do then is defocus that part there, come over to my blur page, and then I select sharpen or mist, but I want to go to blur, okay, in this case. So what I'm going to do here is just blur it just a little bit like that. And there we have it. That was without any correction. And that's with our dream effect that we have. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. 
And also, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And always remember, think about subscribing to our channel so you can be alerted to all the new videos when they come up. Thanks a lot and have a great day.